SA leads the country in drug crime, screamed the headline on David Ridgway's media release. Now, Ridgway isn't a bad chap. He's opposition leader in the upper house, which may not be important to you, but it is to him because it means he gets a government-provided driver and a limousine. And he's the shadow minister for police, which is why he put out a media release on drugs. The basis of Ridgway's claim, and this is what he said, there is more illegal drug crime per head of population in South Australia than anywhere else in the country. It's unadulterated bunkum, pure bananas, fiddle-faddle, false. Ridgway has taken ABS figures issued late last week, which is raw data. The percentage of illegal drugs is a predominant principal offence. In South Australia, 28% of crime involves people having, carrying or growing drugs, usually marijuana, which was all but a minor misdemeanour a few years ago. In the ACT, the figure is 8%. Not because people there smoke less dope or snort or swallow less, it's because police there are usually chasing and prosecuting felons of a different kind. They're actually catching and charging hoodlums who break into houses while you're at work or away for the weekend. They're concentrating more on crimes against people and property. It's easy to take sniffer dogs to a concert or the big day out and nab a score of drug convictions, but it doesn't mean that we lead the country in drug crime. It means that we lead the country in arresting people for drug crimes. We'd probably lead the country in sex crimes if adultery or offences against nature, as they were so quaintly termed, were on the books here and not in King's Cross or the Gold Coast. Homosexuality was a crime in Tasmania until a year or two ago, but arresting gays and lesbians in Hobart didn't mean Tassie led the country in sex crime. David Ridgway is not a bad chap, but on this one, he's hallucinating.